Greetings, viewers. Adventure Link here. Well, you already know why I'm here, so let's get down to it. Before I begin, I want to give special thanks to Christina Carrion for sending me this product for free in exchange for this fair and honest review. So, let's get down to it. First things first, you open the box. Pretty simple. Open it up. Get a little user manual here. Part one of our grand prize. Eh, foot vibrates a little bit too upon coming out. It's also vibrating in the box when I was tossing it up and down in my hand. But in any case, you remove this little piece of cardboard here. And there's part two of the grand prize, the little remote thingy. And mounting hardware. Anchors and screws, or you get these little sticky pads. Awesome! So that's it for the unboxing of this wireless doorbell sold by Deluxe Family. Let's. Okay, so something that I just found in the box before the unboxing. See, this is why when you do unboxings, always tip the box over so you don't miss anything. But in any case, I found what looks like a little flathead pocket screwdriver here. It came with this for a reason, so. Be on the lookout for it. Don't lose it. Okay, so when I filmed myself reading the instruction manual for everyone, believe it or not, unedited, this took 10 minutes to get through. And I'm like, there's no way I'm going to put this entire instruction manual in this video. Who would have thought that six pages here would take me 10 minutes to read? Go figure. Who knows? Because I've done other re instruction reading that had it done in half at most. But because of that, that's why we're going to go through the, inst the instructions as we do the setup. Except for this part over here and the uh, structure diagram over here. So without further ado, product features. You get a modern and stylish design. A IP44 waterproof transmitter. What this means with the IP44. The first four, again, is your dust, dirt, etc. Greater than one meter. I believe this would be like for screws, nails, large ants, wires, things like that. The other four, as you know, is for water. I believe it's an ITX3 water sprayer, the same equivalent to that. Or maybe like moderate rain or something. Either way, please make sure you do install the transmitter far away from anywhere where it's going to get rained. You get 52 ringtones, four levels of adjustable volume, over 900 feet of open range. It's easy to install and use. It's easy to add additional transmitters and receivers. You get a low power consumption. The product list, we already went through that, so we're going to skip it. The parameters. The voltage of the plug-in receiver is 110 volts AC for the U.S. Voltage of the battery type receiver is uh, 4.5 volts, which is three 1.5 volt AAA batteries. Power consumption of the receiver is less than half a watt. Power consumption of the transmitter is less than 10 milliwatts. Waterproof rating is an IP44. Battery end button is a 12 volt 23A alkaline battery. By the way, 23A is a size of battery. I'll download an image and edit it in here so you know what it looks like. Working range again is over 900 feet in open air. You get 52 ringtones once again. Volume range of 30 to 110 decibels at four levels. It's expandable. Get a working frequency of 433.92 megahertz plus or minus 280 kilohertz and a working temperature of negative 30 degrees to positive 70 degrees celsius. The structure diagram of the receiver and transmitter are as follows. Keep in mind that this is not the battery operated version that I have on review. Again this is the one you plug into the wall. Okay so since I apparently don't have the door sensor and or the motion sensor and I'm not sure where to get these things for this doorbell. If anyone has any ideas, please hit me up in the comment section or send me a message on YouTube. I don't care. Just as long as I know where to get these and I'll put links to these in the video description. And possibly purchase these and do a review on it. In any case, for the door sensor, you'll separate the two parts of the door sensor to trigger it. Until you see the indicator light up and hear the tune you selected. It's supposed to take one AA battery. The motion sensor, you'll switch it on, then wave your hand in front of the detector of the motion sensor to trigger it until you see the LED indicator light up and hear the tune you selected. It takes two AAA batteries. Simple troubleshooting tips and common problems. One, the receiver suddenly can't get signal from the transmitter. The first reason is low power battery and the transmitter. 
less power in the transmitter, the shorter your range is. You'll want to replace the battery with a new one or plug the receiver into a nearby outlet. The plug of the receiver is loose, just plug it back in. Or you re reset the receiver by accident so that the transmitter is not paired with it anymore. You'll want to repair the receiver with the transmitter as per the operation instruction, which I already went over. A shorter operating range. The reason is too many obstacles like walls and metal doors and metal surfaces or studs or something between the receiver transmitter or low power in the transmitter. The solution is to test the operating range before installation and change the location and or the batteries. Oh yeah, and I figured out what this little pocket screwdriver is for. You'll basically stick it in this hole here. There's a little tab inside. You may or may not be able to see it, but there is a big fat tab inside. Anyways, you'll pop in with the screwdriver here to pop out the tab. Oh, cool. I got it on cam. Sweet. First try. Anyways, from here, there's this little circuit board. There are two Phillips head screws. One over here. One over here. You'll undo both of these and your batteries underneath the circuit board. Reverse of removal is your installation. While I'm at it, I guess I should go over this backing plate here. Remember, there are two holes for mounting, one up here where my finger is, and one down here where my other finger is. There are also these four little rectangle holes. Those are your drain holes. And there's your big fat tab that I was talking about that you jammed down on. Or wait a minute, that's the tab up there, my bad. See, the instruction reading and, this, and what just happened here are the beauties of unscripted YouTube videos. You learn as I go. That way you don't make the same mistakes I do. So please don't make the same mistakes I do. Anyways, with that being said, the purpose of these mounting holes is to permanently mount this thing to a wall, which is the preferred method. You simply take your drill bit, get an appropriate size drill bit, drill yourself some pilot holes. Then you'll screw in the screws, which are in this bag. Get two little anchors. If the screws aren't good enough to hold it in, that's what the anchors are for. In any case, from there, you'll put your anchors in. If needed, put your screws in. Off you, off you go. Alternatively, there is this little sticky pad here. Be careful because over time this will wear out, especially in terms of the elements like sun, UV radiation, the rain, the snow, etc. So this is a more temporary method. Basically what you want to do is you want to clean both surfaces. You know, this back part here and where you're going to mount this on the wall. If it is a painted surface, please sand it down and make it as smooth as you can. Because, of course, the paint will affect things. Then from there, you'll stick one end of the sticky here and stick the other end of the sticky over there on your wall. See, it's just a demonstration. So that takes care of part of the transmitter setup in terms of mounting it to the wall and taking the battery out. And what the flathead screwdriver is for. One more thing, there is this little clear plastic housing here. I put a little note in it or something. Don't know what you would use this for, but there it is. That's what it's there for. Don't forget to also take out this little tab over here before you go and use your transmitter for the first time. Please make sure that you do test the range of the transmitter. That way you know it's an acceptable range to use. So I've got the transmitter plugged in. Don't be surprised if when you plug it in you get no activity. That's fine. This is how it works. Also, I know I'm going to get faulted or something for using extension cords. This is a demonstration, so yeah. So yeah, this is just a demonstration. Calm down. But in any case, you get four different levels of volume. This is the lowest. Next highest. And the highest possible. For the rest of this demonstration, I should be able to you just use this level of volume except when I go and test the range on this thing. Okay, so to add another transmitter to your little receiver thing, you'll push and hold the volume button. Right, that's the volume button right ne next to my thumb. You'll push and hold it in for five seconds. Then you'll push the button on the receiver. I guess I did it right because it's playing the music now. But yeah, that's how you set up the new transmitter. So here's a sample of some of the ringtones that you can get. Keep in mind there are 52 of them. I'm not playing all 52 ringtones on this thing. This is just for a sample demonstration. Hi, you can sleep over the door. Hello, welcome. <laughs> Uh -oh. 
as FYI, there's this little um, up and down buttons, the two little arrow buttons. You'll push down, it'll go down to the previous track. Next one up, we'll go and uh, set it to the next highest track. Just so you know, if you do want to change your ringtone, you will have to reset your transmitter. Because what you just heard is going to be a lot different from this. Hello, welcome, hello, welcome. Which, by the way, make sure that you do have your ringtone set. Push and hold the volume button. This button right here on top of my finger. Push and hold it for five seconds. Now push the button. Not only is your remote synced up again, but it'll also play the new ringtone. I don't know why it's, it wants to play this ringtone like oh, like once and then play it again. Don't know why it does that. Why can't it just play it once? Oh well. One more thing I forgot to mention is that when you do want to sync up new transmitters and or change the ringtone, be quick because you will have like five seconds to reset the new transmitters to the receiver and change out the ringtone. Oh, and by the way, this thing supports up to 10 of these transmitters at once. So make sure that you do sync them all up using the ABC method. First thing you do is you want to set your ringtone. Then you'll push and hold in the volume button for five seconds. When you hear the tone, you'll push in the blue button. And you're off to the races from there. You have to do this with each one over and over and over. By the way, that in addition to these transmitters, it also supports motion detectors, door sensors, and other such things. And to reset the default ringtone, you'll push the music forward button, which is this button right here. That's the music backward button, by the way. Don't push that one. Push this one instead. Push and hold it for five seconds. Then you can resync all your remotes from there to use the, the default ringtone. Okay, so this is the closest that I could go here to where I could still hear it. Unfortunately, I don't have any other way to be able to hear it from one side and then hear it like say 200 feet later. So yeah, in any case, I'm here and a little staircase here, there's a, heat, a sheet there, that way the AC will work effectively. So with that being said, I'm going to push the button. And it plays. Nice. Okay, so the price of this thing you may be wondering, 20 bucks with your Amazon Prime. I like this product. I find it to be really useful. I would recommend you get one, or if you are in the market for a doorbell, Please give this consideration. Unfortunately, I really don't feel like setting up stickies for no reason or permanently installing this knowing that I'll probably have to move soon. But I know that this will come in very handy in our new apartment when we get it. So that's when I'll probably start seeing it more often used and use it more in action. I like how it's wireless, meaning there's no need to wire up anything, which that's a good thing. In my testing, like I said, this does have a 900 foot range or claims to have one, but I really couldn't test it well because I don't have any way to hear the doorbell because, you know, like say if you're in a, in a house or apartment environment with like a roommate or two and, you know, you got one roommate in his room playing Doom and another one playing No Man's Sky and you're sitting in the living room, you know, watching DVR on, on the splat. You know, it kind of makes it very hard to hear it say, like when you're, like say if you're in a bathroom or something. And the receiver's in the living room. Kind of makes it a little hard to hear, yeah. Even at the highest settings. So my suggestion to you would probably be to install this in a central location. Where you know someone is going to be at at all times. So that way someone can actually hear the doorbell even better. If you can actually find just a transmitter and or the receiver. You know, individually like the instructions claim you can. That'd be even better. And you could be able to hear it more and more often in the house. Or in more places anyway. Like I said, I love this thing. And I plan on using it a lot in the future. Hopefully I can actually get the motion detector. 
and or the door sensor so I can do a part two review on this. Just say so you know the product link to this product here will be in the video description. If I can get my hand on the door sensor and or the motion detector and or the receiver and or the transmitter and you know individually like this i'll put it that in the video description as well it'll be updated i do have a gofundme set up please consider donating it if you find this this video or other view videos useful any and all donations are accepted i appreciate them donate as much or as little as you want like i said a link to that will be in the video description as well please support my channel i appreciate your support and i appreciate it going forward like always. So with that being said, this has been my video review on this wireless doorbell here. There is no name brand on it, but it is sold by Deluxe Family on Amazon. I am Adventure Link. Thanks for watching. By the way, a link to the Deluxe Family store on Amazon will be in the video description should you want to check that out as well. Again, thanks for watching. Special thanks once again goes out to Christina Carrion for sending me this product for free in exchange for this fair and honest review as well as for testing and demonstration purposes. Please don't forget to rate and subscribe. It's in the video description. Your rates and subscriptions will help my channel and help expand it. Your rates tell YouTube how good of a job I'm doing or how bad of a job I'm doing. If you feel I did a good job, please give it a thumbs up. If you honestly feel I did a bad job, well, that's fine too. Hit the thumbs down button, you know. I'm only human. I tried my best. At least I tried to make a good video. Your subscriptions also help. They allow you to see any new videos that I make on YouTube, especially when you hit that little bell button by the subscribe button. At that point, then you'll be able to see any new videos that I make hot off the proverbial presses. Please hit me up in the comment section if you have any questions, comments, concerns, praise, criticisms, well wishes, prayers, etc. I do respond to the comments or do my best to get around to each and every one of you. And I do appreciate my fans leaving me comments or Soon to be fans. <laughs> so, let me a comment. I don't bite. Unless you bite first. This has been Adventure Link. Going to sign off this video as always by quoting the wise words of wisdom from Eric the Car Guy. Reminding everyone to be safe, have fun, and of course, stay dirty. Don't forget to play with your toys. See? This little doorbell saying, buy me, buy me. Adventure Link said so. I'm useful. You don't have to wire me up. I'm wireless. And I'm awesome. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.